Good day class. Okay, in this video, I will teach you how to get the rotation matrix of cylindrical manipulator. Okay, so again, we will start by getting the equation of rotation matrix R03. Okay, then derive R01. Okay. So, let's uh, look first for the joint variable theta. Okay. So, joint variable theta. We have a joint variable theta 1 at uh, axis Z sub 0. So, it's also at the axis of Z sub 1. So, same Z axis. So, we will just uh, multiply it at the left side of our stationary matrix. The uh, Z rotation matrix okay. let's just copy the z rotation matrix from the different uh, page of my one note okay so this is z rotation matrix so we are at joint variable theta 1 so don't forget the subscripts if you are programming okay if you are programming if you are coding this to a programming language be careful in uh, coding variables okay that's why uh, basic algebra is essential in computer coding and computer programming Okay, so let's look at our uh, frame 0 and frame 1. Okay, so frame 0 and frame 1 have uh, access that at the same directions. Okay, so this will uh, make an identity matrix for this stationary matrix okay so now we have an identity matrix and uh, identity matrix times z rotation matrix so our r01 okay is z rotation matrix okay because uh, identity matrix is just like a uh, one if you multiply it to another matrix then the answer is the uh, matrix that was multiplied to the identity matrix okay next is r12 okay so let's derive matrix r12 so r12 or frame 1 and frame 2 is at uh, is at uh, prismatic joints okay frame 1 and frame 2 is at prismatic joints so do we don't have joint variable theta here we have joint variable d okay specifically or particularly uh, joint variable d2 so because this is a joint variable d okay so our moving our stationary matrix will be multiplied to a and to, to an identity matrix okay so again an identity matrix let's put some uh, grid at our identity matrix okay this is our identity matrix. Then let's derive R12. So Okay. So let's make this uh, faster. So x sub 2 projected on x sub 1, y sub 1 and z sub 1. So the, it's only projection. So this is z x sub 2. It's only projection is at y sub 1 it, it is uh, at different direction 
So, that is a negative 1. Okay? So, this is the column of x sub 2. Then, projection of y sub 2 on x sub 1, y sub 1, and z sub 1. So, this is y sub 2. Okay? This is a small uh, y axis. So, y sub 2 is just uh, projected on z sub 1, but different direction. So, we have here... this column then next uh, z sub 2 on x sub 1 y sub 2 uh, y sub 1 and z sub 1 so this is z sub 2 it's all it is only projected on x sub 1 and they are at the same direction so this will be our z sub the this is our column of z sub 2 so, our stationary matrix times the moving matrix. So, our moving matrix is a is an identity matrix. So, R12 is equals to its stationary matrix. Okay. So, this class is our R12 matrix. Okay, next, rotation matrix uh, 2, 3. So, this is between the prismatic joint, the, thir the third prismatic joint, and end effector. So, we have here, again, joint variable D. We don't have joint variable theta. So, R2, 3. Okay. R2, 3. Here is our R2, 3 and it's a uh, grid. So we have here prismatic joint. We have here prismatic joint. So again, we will have a... We will have an identity matrix as our moving matrix. Okay. So let's uh, look at our uh, frame 2 and frame 3. So frame 2 and frame 3 have, have access at same directions. Okay, x sub 2, same direction as x sub 3, y sub 2 at same direction as y sub 3, z sub 2 at the same direction as z sub 3. So our stationary matrix is also or will form also an identity matrix. So R23 is equals to an identity matrix. Okay. So this is our R23. Okay. So these are the rotation matrices. If we get the product, it will become R03. So we may use, uh, you may use, you may use MATLAB or Python to solve for R03. Okay. Thank you.